City have been unstoppable this season, to say the least. At the beginning of the season, I picked them as the favourites to win the Premier League and as one of the favourites to win the Champions League for their impressive team cohesion, work rate, ball dominance and the ability to make any defence in Europe look stupid. City have the right tools in their arsenal to do things like this. One of the most valuable players this season is, in my opinion, Bernardo Silva, a man that has been essential to this team. Welcome to the JVM Football Channel where you can find game analysis, football history and the virtual performances, top 10s, etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Today I'll be going over the amazing player that is Bernardo Silva, what his time at Manchester City have been like so far and how he has been a key player this season to City's clear dominance as it looks more and more likely that they will run away with the Premier League title. I usually go for a bit of a deep dive when it comes to this individual series and what the place I've been like, but today for Bernardo, I'll only be focusing my efforts on this current season and the last season to show that this recent turn to form isn't so recent. The first thing that st stands out to me about Bernardo and usually as I have witnessed here and there to other people as well, is how much Bernardo actually works on the pitch. Bernardo is an engine and for a team like City, Silva is a gem in Guardiola's eyes. Taking some time now to look up the best Guardiola sides, it is quite easy to understand that he likes technically gifted players that press a lot and that are not afraid of spending the whole 90 minutes chasing after the ball. Bernardo has been doing exactly that for Pep and it is perhaps where he continues to find himself in the team, either in the starting 11 or as a key substitute. Even when Bernardo was not performing as well, even when his goal contributions weren't looking that pretty, he still found himself in the team time and time again. He's key to this team's success regardless of how many goals and assists he scores because that's not the only way a player contributes to a Guardiola side. Looking at his Premier League heat map from last season, we can see Bernardo is pretty much everywhere. His stats for the Premier League this season were 92% pass accuracy, 1.9 long balls per game, 1.8 chipped passes per game and completing 63% of his dribbles. But this is just creatively, defensively. Bernardo registered 1.6 tackles per game and 0.7 interceptions per game, showing that he put a defensive shift on as well. This level of productivity did not stop last season either. Bernardo has carried his incredible contributions to this year. Sure, he isn't the guy that you go to for 20 goals a season or 10 plus assists a season, but it would be foolish to think that Bernardo is not a key asset that would improve almost every single team in Europe. He only had 8 goal contributions last season, but started 24 of the 26 games he played, showing again how much Pep values him. This season, Bernardo's hit map looks as impressive as ever, with Pep sometimes playing him on the left now, which is shown on the increase of red areas on the left side. Bernardo has averaged a pass accuracy of 89% this season, 1.3 long balls per game, 1.1 chipped passes and completed 59% of his dribbles. His tackles per game have also gone up with him now averaging 1.8. Bernardo has taken a bigger role this season, being more of a key player this season and the case could be made for him being the best player right now in Manchester City. He has started all of the games he has played this season, a total of 22. He has scored a key goal in City's 1-0 win over Leicester and another key goal in City's demolition of Manchester United. This was a short video, but I just wanted to highlight Bernardo's campaign so far, which I think should not go unnoticed. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. This is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and helped me to grow this channel.